The company Boston Dynamics is one that has a lot of potential. They produce robots that are among the best in the world, and they have made significant advancements in the field of robot locomotion. They are also very skilled at producing viral videos, the likes of which have the greater part of the Twitter population gravely contemplating the extinction of the human race. On July 11, 2013, a humanoid robot financed by the Pentagon and given the name Atlas made its first appearance in public. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video in order to stay up to date on any new developments regarding this incredible robo-sapien. But in the meantime, stay tuned for some additional fascinating details about the subject. The robot is seen as a new tool that can come to the aid of humanity in times of natural disasters as well as disasters that are caused by humans. It is equipped with laser vision systems as well as stereo vision systems, in addition to having dexterous hands. In dangerous environments where people have no chance of surviving, we are developing Atlas to carry out rescue operations. The Pentagon had devised a competition in which competing teams of technologists programmed it to do things such as open doors, operate power equipment, travel over rocky ground, and shut off valves and throw switches. The competition had a prize pool of $2 million. Some people considered the unveiling of Atlas to be a significant step, albeit a precarious one, towards the long-awaited age of humanoid robots. Even though self-driving cars are currently being tested on public roads and robotic planes are already flying in the sky, many experts in the field of robotics believe that the learning curve towards useful humanoid robots will be steep. Despite this, Many people believe that they will sooner rather than later fulfill the requirements of humans and the fantasies of fans of science fiction. They have the ability to walk on two legs, which gives them the potential to serve as guides in department stores, help the elderly with daily tasks, or carry out rescue operations in nuclear power plants. Researchers claim that the field was now undergoing a period of rapid development despite the fact that experimental robots have been around since at least 1973, when the Japanese Wabbit 1 was introduced. When it comes to humans, there is no such thing as standing still, because your center of mass is in front of your ankle. You would be at risk of falling over if you were rigid. Your brain, on the other hand, is constantly monitoring your position, movement, and the forces that are acting on you. So it sends then a steady stream of instructions to your muscles all over your body, which causes those muscles to make thousands of tiny corrections every minute. It is extremely challenging to accomplish that in a robot. You will need to train or program a very sophisticated control system that can deal with streams of real-time sensor data. Additionally, you will face a significant mechanical challenge in the form of the fine motor control that is required to make all of those micro-adjustments. Atlas, the handy helper and humanoid robot created by Boston Dynamics, is capable of navigating obstacles, easily joining a choreographed dance party, or jogging on its own in the park. As of today, he is able to work without any difficulty on construction sites. The group just recently published a video in which the human robot Atlas influences the world around it by interacting with various objects and adjusting the path that it is taking. Atlas puts its mobility, sensing, and physical prowess to the test by transporting a tool bag to a person who is waiting at the top of a multi-story scaffold and even by pushing a cargo box from his vantage point. Before dismounting with an inverted 540-degree flip that project engineers have dubbed the sick trick, Atlas grabs, carries, and tosses the tool bag. It then ascends stairs, jumps between levels, and tips over a large wooden block that is in its path. According to the explanation provided by Boston Dynamics, the ability of the humanoid robot Atlas to perform parkour and a backflip goes hand-in-hand -hand with the robot's capacity to have a nuanced understanding of its surrounding environment. Because the humanoid robot needs to be able to perceive its surroundings and navigate over and around fixed obstacles, the team working on the project modifies it so that it can learn how to respond to the environment in which Atlas operates. Because of this new assignment, Atlas's capabilities of locomotion and sensing should be able to handle the additional challenge of not only locating, grabbing, and moving things of varying sizes, compositions, and weights, 
but also keeping its balance while navigating fixed objects. Following the release of a video in which Atlas robots were shown performing backflips, jumping over gaps, balancing on narrow beams, and parkouring through a complex obstacle course, the American company Boston Dynamics has now released new footage showing the humanoid robots manipulating the world around them. When Atlas was seen in a video for the last time, the robot did not have hands that were capable of gripping objects. The initial concentration was primarily directed towards the legs, with arm movement serving only as means of maintaining balance. On the other hand, this version of Atlas possesses hands resembling crab claws and enhanced wrist mobility. During the brief demonstration, Atlas is put in a setting similar to that of a construction site and instructed to rearrange the furniture and equipment there in order to reach its final destination. Atlas can be seen moving planks to create a bridge, tossing a bag filled with two 10-pound weights, flipping an impressive double quark, and pushing over a large wooden box. As Atlas is put to use, its new capabilities continue to push the boundaries of what was previously thought impossible in terms of locomotion, sensing, and athleticism. It is hoped that the new abilities will have applications in the real world in areas such as manufacturing, factory work, construction, and emergency response. For a number of years, Boston Dynamics has been at the forefront of the production of creepy robot videos. The company has gone and given Atlas hands and taught it how to throw things just as we were starting to get used to the idea of a humanoid robot that can run and do backflips. All of this is demonstrated in the most recent video released by the company in which Atlas recovers a forgotten bag of tools. A worker is seen in this video atop a scaffold when he realized that he has forgotten to bring his tools with him. With the possible exception of the hammer he's holding, the setup isn't exactly ideal. But we're not really here for the story anyway. The purpose of our visit is to watch a robot complete a maze-like course, and this is exactly what Atlas is used for. It then proceeds to climb the scaffolding by utilizing a wooden plank as a bridge, snatches the bag that was requested, and then heaves it up to the worker before performing a backflip to dismount. Without its gleaming new grippers, Atlas would have not been able to accomplish any of this. The hands of the robot made a brief appearance in a commercial for Samuel Adams during the Super Bowl of the previous year. But now we are able to see them in action for ourselves. The graspers each have only two fingers, one of which is fixed and the other of which can move. This provides Atlas with the necessary degree of manual dexterity to pick up and position its blank bridge, as well as to carry the bag of tools up to its human co-star. In the past, Boston Dynamics would provide very little in the way of information regarding the process by which it was creating its increasingly unsettling robots. Now, there is a video that runs for 9 minutes and explains everything that was done to get Atlas ready for its most recent demonstration. Because the team is consistently trying to push the hardware to its limits, it is not as simple as simply telling the robot to perform a new action. For instance, the robot's flip dismount is a more difficult maneuver than any of the other parkour moves it has performed in previous videos. And the addition of carrying a heavy object can throw off the robot's equilibrium. In order to get Atlas to function properly in this setting, Boston Dynamics employs a strategy known as a model corrective control. In practice, this enables the robot to consider how the motion it is currently performing will influence the subsequent events. Programmer Robin Dates draws parallels between this and the functioning of the human body. When you stand up, your heart has to pump more blood in order to prevent you from passing out. Because your body is aware of what it needs to do after you stand up, this process starts before you actually do so. Atlas operates in a manner not dissimilar to this one. At this time, Boston Dynamics does not offer for sale any kind of humanoid robot, including ones that are capable of bag having. The only purpose of Atlas is to facilitate research. The four-legged spot, which retails for about $74,500, is the company's one and only offering in the commercial market. While Atlas is not yet ready for commercialization, it has truly showcased the remarkable potential of humanoid robots and the exciting future of collaborative robots and automation. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this content, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button for more amazing videos.